everybody welcome back to our channel this is a Dollar Tree haul that's right it is I'm gonna start with Valentine's Day items Valentine's Day items and then I'll move on from there I don't know why I just thought this was so stinking cute it remind me of what is it Barney and Bebop I think so I got that then I thought this was so stinking cute for the baby girl but I don't know I'm gonna tell you my daughters, they don't really care for stuffed animals. And then there was this one that's so stinking cute. So most likely they're going to say no and they'll end up staying with me because again, they both of I it's weird, but my youngest who has the two kids and Wildfire, who's the middle daughter, she doesn't have any kids, but they both have a thing for stuffed animals. They're like, no, don't, don't, don't. Like, they, she won't buy her nephew, which is my grandson. She won't buy stuffed animals. It's weird. Wildfire, that is. Anyway, moving on. I picked up these 20 wooden sticks. I thought that these were so stinking cute. They're actually pretty decent size as far as thickness goes in hearts. And you get gold, pink, and red. And I'm going to find a way to incorporate this somehow in with my Valentine's Day decor because I love it. I know that's not what it's meant for, but that's what I'm going to do with it. Next up, I found these. Now, some of this makes sense to me and the other ones do not. But I went and picked them up so I could share with you. They are DIY LED decor. These are like table lights. Okay. You pull the tab. You turn it on. The first one is this like truck I guess and it says happy valentine's day xoxo so there's that one then there's this one I mean I guess I get it I guess I mean I don't I don't really think valentine's day decor but maybe besties forever there's those two okay besties forever and then the happy valentine's day now, these next two that I'm going to share with you just makes absolutely no sense to me. I mean, I guess a teddy bear with a heart in the center. And then a mermaid with all the hearts. I don't know. I mean, I just, these two for Valentine's Day, I just don't get it. I'm not saying that they're wrong. I just... I don't think that goes with Valentine's Day. That's just my opinion, though. Then, in the way of Valentine's Day, I found my favorite because this is two, two, two uses in one. It can be a sign to decorate for Valentine's Day or it can be a deadly weapon. Your choice, but a deadly weapon, pink in color for $1.25, not going to find that anywhere else. Love is patient, love is kind. I think that's a song. Love is patient. Love is kind. There's that one. Then my favorite. All you need is love. -na 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 -na. All you need is love. Love. Lo love is all you need. This was in a baby blue and this one's in the white and it just says in cursive love. And I'm going to be honest with you. When I saw this one, I felt like it was new, but then when I looked at this one and this one, I was like, I feel like I have these already. But again, with that sickness that I had, it's playing games with my brain. And then I thought, did I get them? Did I just see them and thought I got them? Do I have them at the house, but I don't know where? Then I found this one that's in green that says together is my favorite place to be. And again, if you don't like the sayings, paint it, do something else, turn it on this side, do your own or nice deadly weapon for a dollar 25. Or if you're still at a dollar, a dollar at your place. Next up, I found these two a Valentine's day decor. They, out of all the signs that they had, I didn't see anything other than these two that were new. The first one has a black key at the top and it says, the key to my happiness is love. Right there. And the second one is a 
Oh, this is like a black and white key, sorry. This is a black and gold key, and this one says, you hold the key to my heart. So corny. You corny, you corny. But those are out there if you're interested. And then I picked up a 48 count of Valentine's Day cards, Paw Patrol for my grandson. Um, I don't know if he needs them, but I saw them and I was like, let me go ahead and grab them while they're here. And $1.25 versus if you would go to buy them at Hallmark where they're like $5.99 or something, I grabbed them. But if he wants Paw Patrol from Hallmark or any of those expensive brands, you know grandma's going to get them for him anyway. So it is what it is. Then they had these in the Valentine's Day section, but to me, they could be used year round. The first one, it's from Juncture. That's a Greenbrier product. That is a Dollar Tree product, as we know. At first, we thought it was a name brand, but we've come to find out that it's Greenbrier manufactured by Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree manufactured by Greenbrier, however you want to say it, tomato, tomato. But these are cute little clips for your hair. Not earrings, but little clips for your hair. And, um, oh, they're not even clips for your hair. You see, I couldn't read it in the store. These are actually flip flop accessories for your juncture flippy flops. How stinking cute. Well, they had it like over in the jewelry department area, like the jewelry and the hair bows and stuff. This needs to be over by the chanclitas. Okay, so they're trying to do a spin on the croc. What are they called? The, the charms that you put in the croc? That's not what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Sprockets, pockets, I don't know. These are flip-flop charms in hearts, in the word love, because why? All you need is love. -na 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 -na. Then there's these lemon slices, women's flip-flop accessories, ladies and gentlemen. And then the last one, so stinking cute, sharks. Baby shark, da 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 da. Baby shark, da 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 da. Baby shark, da 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 da. So these are not. I thought they were little clips. Look at the back of them. See them? So I thought they were little clips for your hair. No, they're flip flop accessories. And these are the only four that I found at my Dollar Tree. Right here. Those are the four that I found at my Dollar Tree. If anybody has seen any others, let us know in the comment section down below. So there are those. Then, speaking of hair accessories, because I found this in the hair accessories, and I thought, okay, yes, she's only two months old, but how stinking cute would this be for pictures? If she never wears it again, but just for a photo op, and you guys know I'm not a fan of JoJo Siwa or whatever her name is, but she's known for those giant-ass bows in her hair. She just drives me insane. She's just too bubbly for me, but I did pick up this bow from Jojo Siwa. Oh, it's not a damn bow either. It says large bow, but let me show you. It's one that you put around a ponytail. And do you see what the price of this was originally? $9.99? I did not see that till right now. Yeah, it's an actual that you put in a chancla with the bow. Oh, well, that won't work for her. I thought it was just a bow, and I thought it would be cute. Well, you could still just kind of lay it there when she's sleeping for pictures, maybe. So there's that. Now I'm going to go to the toy section. They have brought these back in case you're interested. I don't know if these are the Zoom Zooms, the Disney Zoom Zooms, or what. But guess what? I found Weenie the Pooh. Weenie the Pooh. I found Pooh. I found Piglet. And I found Tigger. I've got, I have purchased these before for my grandson. This set, I just wish, wish, wish I would have found Eeyore. I don't know if they even have an Eeyore, but this set is for my granddaughter. Okay, so there are those three. Then I found Mickey, Minnie, Goofy. Then I found these two randos. I think this one's Duchess from um, Lady in the Trap, I think. And then Dumbo. 
So they are bringing them back. And they also had a full box, a full box of those like beanbag kind of, they're not beanbags, they're polyester filled. They had the minions back in full stock at this store anyway, full stock. Then I found polos. These are the button down short sleeve polos. I know some people have been finding long sleeve polos and t-shirts. I just found the short sleeve polos. These are in 4XL. Nobody wears this size at my house. But you know what these are good for? You're gonna be doing painting around the house. You wanna just sleep comfortable. You can get these and use it for that. You need rags, you need to, you have a business that you're making t-shirt, like subliminal t-shirts and stuff like that or whatever they're called. That one is cotton. Now this one is uh, from Glidden, Glidden, whatever. This is a 5XL, but the material is like a silky kind of material. It's not the cotton. So there's the yellow, the gray. I'm just gonna show you like this. Light green. This is like a sunshine yellow, whereas this other one's like a pale yellow. Do you see the difference between the two? There is a red. And that is fire engine red, baby. Fire engine red, baby. There is a Carolina blue, go Tar Heels. And there is chocolate brown, brown. And then the chocolate brown, this one is what, like a medium? This one's actually a small. So those are out there if you need them. Not only that, they have the long sleeves as well and they have the t-shirts. So if you need, if your store is still at a dollar to get a polo for a dollar, that's pretty good. If you have to pay $1.25, that's still a great deal because you're not going to find polos collared out in the wild for $1.25. I told you in my last Dollar Tree haul, if you haven't seen it, I'll put an eye card right here. I found the penguin, 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 I don't know, liquid shoe polish in white in this haul, but I found it also in black. And again, I don't know about this brand. So if anybody knows anything about the brand, can you let me know in the comment section down below, yay or nay? Not only does it help me, but it helps all the other friends and family to the channel because if you read the comments, and I tell you guys all the time, read the comments because that's how we know yay or nay. That's how we get to know each other better. Read the comments, you know, and you'll get to learn from others whether it's a yes buy or a no. Next, let's go with the garden department. They had these two. They have stakes, but they also have the ribbons in case you want to hang them. This first one says, all things grow with love. And it's this really pretty like green color. And then there's this blue one that says, plant seeds of happiness, kindness, and love. This is what they look like, both of them together. Then in the garden signage, I also picked up these that have the twine at the top. This one says, bless my garden. This one says, meet me at the garden gate with the wheat or the lavender, lavender. And then the last one, a play on words, if you will, garden of Whedon, <laughs> instead of garden of Eden, garden of Whedon. <laughs> so those are out as well. Then I thought that these were pretty aggressive in the sense of they seem really sturdy for them to be from Dollar Tree. They are from uh, the garden, whatever it's called. I'll show you the ticket. I can't see. Right there. But here is like your little garden shovel and your garden rake. Now, for $1.25, like are they going to last 10 years from now? I don't know. Maybe if you take care of them and grease them and clean them after every, you know, use and stuff. Maybe they will last 10 years, but still they're $1.25. So even if they last for two seasons or even one season, it's a hell of a deal. So there you go. Next up, we're going to go with the beauty department. Okay. So if you saw my last Dollar Tree haul, again, it's in the iCard, so you can check it out. I found the prebiotic Tom's moisturizing hand soap. And I found it in the lavender and the rose. This is the gentle lavender. 
and it does smell very highly like lavender. Well, at this store, I found the Tom's Peppermint. So I'm going to, again, I am starting to get some smell back. Very little, still no taste, but I'm getting very little smell back. So let me see if I can smell this. Yep, peppermint. Tell you what, you wash your rear end with this, it's gonna be it's gonna be feeling like you smoked yourself a camel cigarette. Mm -hmm. Yep, I like that. Next up, I found the Yardley again. I don't like English lavender, but I really I with the COVID wrap. I'm gonna have to cut that with the rash that I got the C rash that I got when I was done with my illness. I'm just willing to try anything at this point. So I know that Yardley is a good brand. It says it's, you know, a premium body lotion, English lavender. I thought, what the hey, I'll try it. Because, man, it's itchy and it's really dry. It's just a mess. Now, probably two Dollar Tree hauls back. I will try to find it. And if I do, I'll put it in an eye curve right here. I found the soft soap, hand soap, liquid hand soap refills in the big bottles. 32 fluid ounce. I think I had said 64 ounce. No, I, that was something else. But I had found the lavender. Well, this time around, I found the soft soap gently coconut liquid hand soap refill. Hyperallergenic hand soap for sensitive skin washes away the bacteria. This is 32 fluid ounces. So this is what you use to pour into your smaller bottles to give them a refill. That's a great deal a great, great deal if you can find it for a dollar, if your stores are still at a dollar. But it's still a great deal at $1.25 like it is at my store. Now we're going to move into the crafty supplies. First and foremost, they had new ribbon. New ribbon. So I found these. This says Zest for Life. Um... Sweeten it with gratitude. List zest for life. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. You know, it's got all these little sayings that look like this. And then I got the yellow and the green ribbon to go with it. Zest for life. I'm sure that there is others that go with it because they don't usually just bring out three from a collection. But this box had been wiped out. So I'll keep hunting and when I find the whole collection, I'll share it with you. Then I found some of the, what are these called? I know that they're fabric squares, but they call them fat quarters. Um, I found the one with the winter gnomes. And again, I could not remember if I had picked these up before I got sick. Sunflowers. Red and white gingham print. The trucks with the trees. I feel like I saw the truck with the trees. I feel like I did. Oh, I guess I picked up two of the gnomes. Why is there a bucket of eggs? Oh, that's a bucket of snowballs. <laughs> Why the hell do they have eggs? It's snowballs, Karen, you jackass. Then I got the black and white gingham print, buffalo check, and then the tartan. So... I picked up those six and again I could not remember if I had bought this before I got sick and they had two full boxes two like brand new like they had never even brought them out before Christmas that's how full the box was then I picked up oh did I show, show something from the toy section yes I did I missed two things I'll show you in a minute the crafter square brought out the vinyl paper the permanent glitter paper and They've got new designs and colors. The first one, I'm putting them side by side so that you can see that it is two different colors, even though it looks like it's the same. See, it's like one has the glitter purple print and the other one has like the Tar Heel Carolina blue color. So there's those two. Then I picked up these two prints. One is like a floral and the other one is like a geometric print. That's what they look like. Then I picked up this beautiful purple, which when I saw the purple and these two blue, I immediately thought Easter colors. Isn't that perfect for Easter? It looks like dyed Easter eggs. 
And the last one that I found was this one, the holographic vinyl paper. You can see the rainbow taste. It's like an Aurora Borealis kind of color. So those are all out. And you know what I love that they're finally doing because it is such a pain in the butt. Sometimes the way they stack them, you cannot make heads or tails out of them. So I will show you what I'm loving that they're doing. Da -da 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 -da, I'm loving it. I'm loving the fact that they're putting the design and colors at the bottom. So you can quickly skim through them and see what you want and if they even have what you want or need. So there are those. Now, let me show you what I passed up in the toy section. I only found one Uno game before Christmas, so I did not put it in the kids' stockings for Christmas, and we didn't even have Christmas until way after Christmas, as you guys know. But I did find this Dos Go pocket-sized cards. So to me, it kind of looked like um, Uno, and it's from Mattel. And then there was this one from Mattel, Low Down Go, Lowest Score Wins. So both of those are from Mattel. You know, that's name brand. So those are out there, these pocket size cards, if you're interested. So I want to share those with you. And now we're going to go back into the crafting goodness because, again, these were in the craft aisle. I know there's stickers and they should be in with the stationery, but at my two Dollar Trees that I found these, they were in the craft aisle. These are from Momoko. These are mirror stickers, first and foremost. First, you have the giraffes. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Zebras zebras then you have the little boston terrier or pug i don't know which one that is there's the bears panda bears then there's no drama llamas wearing the glasses now the rest of them that i'm gonna that i'm going to share with you are all shaker stickers the first one are the donuts and here's the shaker and they're a nine count next is the planets and you know my favorite is there Saturn okay then uh, now we're going to here's one more of the shakers there's the avocados so stinking cute shakers and then these are the Momoko handmade stickers I know they're not handmade they're just like three-dimensional the first one is the rainbows Second one is these nar narwhals, narwhals, however you want to say it, tomato, tomato. Next up, so stinking cute, the flamingos. My oldest daughter is going to love them. And the last one, wildfire is going to go wild over, pun intended. Hot dog! They have the dachshunds, the wiener dogs. Some, they're wearing the little hot dog costume and some, they're wearing their little sweater. And I got two of these, one for her and one for me. So those are out there as well. If you are looking, if you're in need, these are nice. These are not Dollar Tree slash Greenbrier. These are from Momoko. Um, and I'm sure that it's probably a buyout maybe. Oh no, you know what? Scratch everything I just said. All of these are from Greenbrier, Dollar Tree, right there. It says right down there, distributed by Greenbrier. Greenbrier. So they are not name brand read before you speak Karen otherwise you look like a dumbass um, so those are Dollar Tree so hopefully all the Dollar Trees should pick them up or have them the last thing I want to share with you that I picked up from the automotive department is a two-in-one flashlight it's super bright 50 lumens and it's got a second LED light this is what the box looked like I'm bringing it up close two-in-one flashlight right there super bright 50 lumens second LED light right there and I've already got it all ready to demonstrate for you. Here's what it looks like, okay? It's just, like it's not wider or, you know, less wide. It's all one shape. It almost looks like a, it almost looks like a really thin, thin, okay? So if you turn it on this way, look at how bright that is. Just check that out. Check it out. Look how bright. 
You could really tell ghost stories with this, you know? It was a rainy, foggy night. The car stranded on the side of the road when all of a sudden on the roof we hear scratch, scratch, scratch. Now, if you turn it the other way, you've got this. Very bright as well as you can see. You see, whenever you put enough light on me, my mustache goes away because it's from a shadow from my schnauzer up here. I don't have a stash. I think I'm old enough to realize that if I have a stash, I'm gonna get rid of it. That's another thing the haters like to say. Shave your mustache. I don't have one because I do shave it. Anyway, that is it, you all. That is all for the haul. Oh, two other things. I got Valentine's Day cards for the granddaughter and the grandson. Now that is it. That is all, you all. That is the haul. That is it. Get kit, all the kit, caboodle, and then some. Let me know what your favorite item was in this Dollar Tree haul. Let me know what you're finding that I should be looking for. Talk to me in the comment section down below because I love hearing from each and every one of you. Know that I love and appreciate each and every one of you as well. And I mean it. Don't let anybody tell you different.